All right, thanks for coming back, guys. So um, I've actually did something while off camera. So uh, what I've done is actually went through um, every section of the uh, the panel to see uh, you know everything is in place. So fortunately, the replacement panel now is on the right side. It has the uh, the power button, the volume up down. And uh, basically, uh, uh, what's gonna happen is that I will, I will also you know test this speaker later. If this doesn't work, then I will have to replace it some other time. But as of now, it's basically just to check to see if there's any parts that needs to be transferred over. Uh, one thing I realized is that this uh this uh filter at the bottom right meant for the bottom firing speaker right. This was actually transferred from, from the original one. Uh, reason being because you can see, right, it's a bit hard to see on camera, but you, there's actually glue around the mesh. So it, as, you, as the mesh is actually a bit uh, whitish, this one apparently the glue has kind of like sit, sit over the, uh, the, the white mesh. So this will affect the uh, speaker output. And likewise, uh, there is this uh, there's this little thing here, right? This is meant to filter the uh, you know the bottom mic, so it has a similar issue. So which is why I actually took from here the original one and replaced it to here. So after checking most of the items, uh, I you know have started to transfer everything over. And uh, of course, um, I, I will have to, you know, for the battery, right, I decided not to, you know, uh, remove the adhesive and, and, and actually uh, remove the sticker and place the adhesive because at some point in time, I may need to replace this battery in the near future. Um, currently, this is run, operating about like uh, 83, 84% of its optimal uh, battery operation. So, uh, I would say... The percentage is dropping. Uh, so probably I might need to change this uh, as well. So, alright, let's uh, put everything back. So, right now, let me go back to the iFixit. Uh, yeah, anyway, I should have seen this one. Of course, from what I believe that I've really damaged the speaker. Oh, your piece speaker. So now focusing on the bottom. It's now just doing in the reverse of what has been done. Change back.
now the daughter board has been seated side. This will be the house center. Okay, let me see. This keyboard will have it fixed in. Still. Do a quick check here. I notice something different. Okay, so um, thankfully, like this new frame has all the context for the antenna, similar to this original one. See the context, and that's how the uh. Uh, Samsung phone actually uh, uses the antenna, using the frame as the antenna. In the school, so it
steps of what So, so I to attach the meat frame. That's what is mentioned here. So uh, before attaching a meat frame, that's where I have to connect it back here. So, if you notice just now, when uh, if I put this in, right, the front facing camera is not uh, really secure because there's no uh, glue on this new uh, frame, this new display. Uh, but I decided to just leave it there instead of putting this glue because this might sit into the front facing camera. That's why I chose to not to paste or stick anything there. So. Frame is in. Display.
So now I'm looking to see if there's any more screws. Uh, I think there's about other remaining screws here. Probably the, the NFC point. So, um, okay. I guess probably I'll just turn on and do a test. I guess I might get some money. In the battery. Go power on. Okay, I can feel the vibrator motor is okay. In camera is okay. My camera is fine as well. Up down is good. Now I'm just doing the uh, all the tests here. It was done already. Vibration I give you it. So yeah, as you can see, the top uh, speaker is damaged already. That's why you don't hear anything from the top. Only the bottom is okay. The top is damaged. I check. So this is a look back test for the mic. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. So also because I have not attached the back cover, so there's actually a microphone at the back cover. This will be the full test will be done later. Okay, so let me turn this off. All right, so I would say overall, all right, um, if I you know glue everything back at the sides, etc. Um, I think perhaps you know, uh, okay, I will have to attach the N NFC first. Um. I may not uh, totally glue it back, but uh, I'm just gonna have uh, gonna attach it back like this for a couple of moments or for a while until uh, this this replacement part for the uh, top of your B speaker comes in. So okay, let me finish our last part before I end this video. So let me put this one aside. It's only connected to here.
Thinking life today. I see six groups. So you can see that this is actually the uh, microphone that's right in front of the camera. So there's still some old glue from the previous uh, repair, uh, which I'll remove it and you know replace it with a new one uh, when the time comes. But right now um, I'm just going. Just put it like this for timing because I wait for the uh, spare parts for the phone uh, for the speaker to arrive. So anyway, I have a cover for this as well, so this can actually go in place. All right, so um. My thoughts on this repair is that uh, with the right tools, right, uh, the repair is doable, but you have to know uh, the steps very clearly, which is why I always have the guide ready with me. The iFixit guide with me, right? And um, especially there will be a few parts uh, you know, that we might have missed out, so you have to be very careful. Uh, Always uh, do a side by side a comparison if it's possible. Like right now, here I can actually you know compare it with the uh, uh, physics guide, and uh, you know sometimes things will break along the way, uh, like how I damage the front, uh, I would say the earpiece uh, speaker. So in that case, I have to get a new one, and like you know, give a choice whether to. To use uh, the B seven thousand blue or the uh, sticker, so uh, I'll probably get a sticker instead because it's actually much less messier as compared to this. So I would say overall, um, the repair is successful, uh, except for one damaged part, and. Uh, yeah, I hope that you guys uh, can learn from this uh, video and judge for yourself to see whether this is something that you want to do it yourself or not. Alright, so with that ado, um, hope you guys have a great day. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.